Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Wednesday. Um, today, we're just going to kind of go over, do a little review of some things that we've been talking about um, the last couple days so that you can just kind of get those fresh in your mind and remember what those are. So uh, yesterday, we read Anansi Learns a Lesson, and we talked about the theme of the story. We made some predictions before we read the story to kind of determine what we thought might happen. So I wanted to go over with you kind of some of those things and what they mean. So for instance, the theme. Um, Anansi Learns a Lesson is a folk tale, which means it is a fictional story, so it's not real, but the story teaches us a lesson, okay? So the theme of a story is the author's message, what the author wants us to remember and take and learn from the story, okay? In those stories, we, we make predictions. Well, how do we make predictions? We use clues from the story to guess or predict what is going to happen next. So a, a prediction is a guess. One of the ways that we make predictions is we look at the illustrations in the book, okay? The illustrations are the drawings, okay? So the author is the person that writes the story. The illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in the story for us. And looking at those illustrations can give us some clues and ideas as to what that story might be about, okay? So we're using our Wonders book. Okay, and in our wonders, we have, you know, a bunch of different stories, and that's where we find everything that we're reading about and learning, okay? Um, and this is the story, Anansi learns a lesson, okay? That's what we read yesterday. So if you didn't get a chance to listen to that, you can go on to your wonders and listen to that story. We talked about different vocabulary um, vocabulary that shows up in the story so that you know you understand those words when they come up you know what they mean and then today really quickly I just wanted to go over some phonics with you that you will see in some of our spelling words as we move forward okay so we are talking about the long I sound okay and when I say long I that long I can show up in words as just an I. I can say I-E. I-G-H says I. You might see a word with an I, another word, and an E that says the I sound. Or Y can often say I. So some of those words that you might come across are the word sky. So you hear that I sound, but sky is spelt S-K-Y, okay? So, or like the word kind, okay? K-I-N-D, you hear that I sound, kind. The second sound we will see quite a bit is our long U sound. You will see that with just the U itself in a word. U, a letter, an E, that'll say U, or E-W often says the U sound, okay? So one of those words might be um, the word cute, C-U-T-E. You can hear the U, cute, okay? Or the word unit, U-N-I-T. So those are some of the sounds and letters you will see in your spelling words this week. And really, um, let's see what else. We will begin um, writing this week. We'll do some writing. So if you're not able to attend the live sessions, I will add those to your wonders to-do list, okay? And really, we're just going to begin learning um, about writing to source. And that means using our text as we write. So going back to our text and writing something from the text as as a way to show that we know what we read, okay? So anyways, I just wanted to say good morning. I hope your day is amazing. And please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions at all, okay? And I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon.